watching Master English TV Olympiad, the very first English quiz show that is being held in Mongolia. And our show is sponsored by the Ministry of Education, who are giving the grand prize to our high school students who are participating in here. And they'll get the chance to study in their favorite university with 100% scholarship. That is a good one. Okay, so our other sponsors are iBerry, the real taste of wild berries, and Fanta. More Fanta, less serious. So on today's show, we have three schools right here, and the very first one is school number 37. With the team captain, Oyuma, and the members are Achtodum and Ayantum. Okay, next one is the blue team, the Iberry team from school number 86. With the team captain Batstoktok, and the members are Muhirtun and Hotem. And the third one is the green team from education. The color green in the school's number is 23 with the team captain Namon. Members are Kanzaya and Hotem. Okay, so let's get on with the show and the very first question will be asked from school number 37, which is the Fanta team. You all know the rules and five questions will be asked in each round, right? You guys know the rules and then we got 60 seconds question time and so on. We have many questions today, lots of things to do, so let's start. Very first question, Master English. Put the appropriate verb for the sentence. How long have you blank her? Is it A, new or B, known? Fantasy. The correct answer is B. B, that is correct. Second question. What is the brightest planet in night sky? Is it A, Mars or B, Venus? The correct answer is B. Venus. Good job. Okay, next question. The third question. What was the real name of Mona Lisa, the prettiest woman in the world? Is it A, Lisa Gardini or B, Lisa Vinci? The correct answer is A, uh, Lisa Gardini. Ooh, that's awesome. That's correct, guys. Okay. Three down, two to go. How can you say this number 974 in Roman? Is it A, C, L, M, X, X, I, V, or B, C, M, L, X, X, I, V? The correct answer is B. That is correct. Good job. Okay. So if you guys get one more answer correctly, then you'll get the chance of clean sweep. Okay? All right. Last question for the Fanta team. In what sport do the players hit shuttlecocks? Is it A, tennis, or B, badminton? All right, here we go. The correct answer is A. I'm sorry, that was a little bit tricky right there with the Fanta team, school number 37. That is it for round one. And let's move on to school number 86. With the team captain, let's see. Right, are you guys ready? Yes. Ready? Yes. Okay, good job. First question, guys. Here it goes. Sara isn't feeling well. She blank a headache. Okay, headache A is it has got or B got? Correct answer is A. Correct answer is A. That is correct. Okay, good job. Next question. Which is the fastest moving planet? A, Venus or B, Mercury? The fastest one, guys. Answer is. I'm sorry, five seconds have passed, okay? You only got five seconds, guys. All right. Third question What is the name of South American River that contains the largest volume of water in the world? It's is it B. A, Mississippi or B, Amazon? It's B. B, Amazon. Amazon. That is correct. Next question How can you say this number 657 in Roman? Is it A, D, C, C, L, V, I, or B, D, C, L, V, I, I? B. D, that C, is correct. Alright, good job, guys. Last question. 
Number of holes on a golf course. Is it A, 18 or B, 16? Let's see. Mm, it's B. B, I'm sorry, it was A. There are 18 holes, right? Remember Tiger Woods? There are 18 holes. Have you seen a movie with a golf? No? All right, man, you gotta watch them. Okay, that is it for school number 86 with 130 points. And on with the third team from school number 23 with the team captain, Namo. First question, are you ready? Yes. Good job. With the appropriate verb for the sentence, this room blank every day. A, is it is cleaned? B, clean. Our answer is A. That is correct, 10 more points. Good start. Next one, which planet is the closest to the sun in our solar system? A, Mars or B, Mercury? A. I'm sorry, it's Mercury. Third question, which Eastern University was the first to be founded in the United States? Is it A, Cambridge or B, Harvard? A. I'm sorry, it's B, Harvard. Calm down, girls. Okay, I know you can do it. Okay, take a deep breath. Fourth question. How can you say this number? 734 in Roman number. A, D, D, C, C, X, X, I, V, or B, D, C, C, X, 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 I, V? B. That is correct. Good job. Last one for school number 23. Here it goes. Number of piano keys on a standard keyboard. Is it A, 90, or B, 88? This one's a cool one. B. That is correct, 88, right? Okay, so that is it for school number 23. Now it's time for random spotlight question from the Fanta team, okay? This is the end of round one, but not yet. One more question for school number 37. Okay, so I will pick the person and that person will answer my question, okay? Okay, so the person who will answer my question is... Achtofen. Okay? All right. Achtofen, are you ready? Random spotlight question, here it goes. The sum of two consecutive odd integers is minus 32. What are the integers? The correct answer is B. Okay, that was incorrect. Achtotum. The correct answer was minus 15 and minus 17, right? If you add those two up, it's minus 32. That's it for round two. This is Master English TV Olympiad. After the break, we'll get on with round two. Our show is sponsored by iBerry, the real taste of wild berries. Thank you. Sponsored by iBerry, the real taste of wild berries ice cream. Fanta, more Fanta, less serious. Okay, here we are with Master English TV Olympiad. Now it's time for round two, but before that, I would like to introduce points, scores that the three teams have. The first team, Fanta team school number 37, is leading the game with 140 points. And the next team, school number 86, has 130 points. School number 23, the team at Namo, has also 130 points. Now up with round two, starting with school number 37. Okay. Five questions as usual. You got five seconds. All right. Yes. Please give me the correct answer. I speak loud. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. First question, identify the sports great whose nickname was the Splendid Splinter. Wooden bat, today still sport his name. A, Harry Hooper, or B, Carl Yastrowski, or C, Ted Williams. The correct answer is A. I'm sorry, it was C, Ted Williams, girls. Okay, sorry. Next question was the first U.S. president to be inaugurated in the White House? Is it A. John F. Kennedy or B. Thomas Jefferson? C. Lyndon B. Johnson? The correct answer is A. 
I'm sorry, it was B. Thomas Jefferson. Okay, come down. Next one. Give the term that refers to a set of numbers or items that is countable. Is it A. Infinite or B. Finite? C. None of them. The correct answer is A. Oh, come on, girls. It's B. Finite. It's countable, right? Okay. It's okay. Just calm down. Yeah, I know you know the answer. Okay, so just take it easy. Fourth question. By purpose, how is the following sentence classified? Take out the trash, please. A. Declar declarative or B. Imperative. C. Interrogative. The correct answer is B. That is correct. Good job. I know you guys can do it. Okay, last one. What famous geyser might you get to observe if you visit Yellowstone Park? Is it A. Old Faithful? B. Dalal? Or C. Blue Lagoon? The correct answer is C. Old Faithful it was. Okay, so it's time for school number 86. This is round two for them, and they're starting off with 130 points. Okay, guys, are you ready? Okay, here it goes. First question. Which creature is the only natural enemy of the great white shark? Is it A, shark, B, killer whale, or C, the white shark? B, answer is killer whale. Yes, or Orca, right? That is correct. Good start. Next one, second question. Franklin W. Dixon authored a mystery series about two brothers from Bayport. What were both of their first and last names? Is it A, Carolyn Keene, B, Franklin W. Dixon, C, Frank and Joe Hardy? C. C, that is. It is correct. Okay, guys, you got to talk a little bit loudly okay I hear you guys third question it's a math question find the value of seven cubed or in other words seven to the third power is it a 345 or b 243 c 341 it's b that is correct 343 of course right okay fourth question with which sport would you associate Knox, Quivers, and Broadheads? Is it A, tennis, B, archery, C, golf? It's B, archery. That is correct, archery, right? Okay, up with the last question. From which document do the words, when the course of human events come? A, declaration of victory, B, declaration of independence, C, declaration of human rights. C. I'm sorry, it was the Declaration of Independence. That was the fifth question for school number 86. Now it's time for school number 23. Starting with 130 points. Are you ready, girls? Yes. Good job. Okay. First question. On which two states' borders is the Hoover Dam located? Is it A, California and Arizona, B, Oklahoma and Kansas, or C, Nevada and Arizona? Our answer is B. I'm sorry, it was C, Nevada and Arizona. Identify, next question, identify the three methods by which heat is transferred from a higher temperature to a lower temperature. Is it A, Convection, collision, and conduct, or B, conduction, transfer, and conversion, or C, conduction, convection, and radiation. Man, that is kind of confusing. Okay, I need an answer. C. I'm sorry. Your answer was correct, but you got five seconds. All right. Third question. It's going to be a math question. A CD is on sale for $12. If the sale price is 25% off the original cost, what was the original price? A, 17, B, 15, or C, 16? I'm 
I'm sorry, you got five seconds, girls. Okay, so twelve dollars will be seventy-five percent of the total price. So if it's twenty-five percent off, it's going to be sixteen, right? Okay. Up with the next question. Question number four. Identify the New England poet who wrote these lines. Whose woods these are? I think I know. His house is in the village, though. Is it A. Jack London? B. Robert Frost? Or C. Edgar Allan Poe? A. The answer is Robert Frost. Last question for the green team. In an outline, what type of symbol is used to indicate a major heading? Is it A. Roman numeral or B. Cardinal number, C. Ordinal number? B. I'm sorry, you tripped a little bit right there. It was A, the Roman numeral. Okay, right now it's time for a random spotlight for school number 86. First, I will choose the person and that person will answer my question, right? Is it clear? Okay, Mukherjee will answer my question. <laughs> I like your smile. Okay, it's gonna be easy for you. It's gonna be a math question, right? <laughs> Random spot, a question of the numbers two, three, four, five, six, and eight. Which are divisors of fifty-six? Is it A two four eight, B three five eight, C two four six? Correct answer is A. That is correct. Good job, guys. Oh, good. All right, good. That was awesome. That is the end of round two. And after the break, we'll be getting on with the 60 seconds question time. We're going to hit the lights. Our show is sponsored by Fanta. More Fanta, less serious. We'll see you after the break. Sponsored by iBerry, the real taste of wild berries ice cream. Fanta, more Fanta, less serious. Sponsored by iBerry, the real taste of wild berries ice cream. Fanta, more Fanta, less serious. Welcome to Master English TV Olympiad. We recently finished with round two with the three schools. School number 23, 86, and 37. They're doing a pretty good job until round two. And with the scores, 130 for school number 23, 180 for school number 86, and 150 for school number 37. Okay, right now it's time for a 60 seconds question time. They're gonna hit the lights. Whoever puts the light first gets to answer their question. If the answer is incorrect, points will be deducted. If the answer is correct, points will be added. Simple, right? You guys know the rules. And here we go, 60 seconds question time. Okay, so it's math factorial's directions. Find the value of each factorial expression. For example, 3 factorial or 3 factorial, see, it's easy, it can be found by multiplying 3 times 2 times 1, right? It's going to be easy. You've learned this at your math class. Okay, first question, 5 factorial, 37? The correct answer is uh, 60. I'm sorry, it's 120. Okay, guys, you gotta think. Four factorial plus five factorial. Okay, I bury team. Five factorial divided by three factorial. Please. It's 20. That is correct. Good job, guys. Okay, next one. Six factorial. 720. That is correct. Next question. 4 factorial. Fantasy. Yes, that is correct. Next question. 
I'm sorry, the time is up for the round of 60 seconds question times. You guys are doing really good on math questions. Okay, so now it's time for round three, which is the last round. And after round three, we'll get on with 60 questions time. Again, this will be the end of the show, all right? Stay tuned, this is Master English. Master English TV Olympiad, which is sponsored by Ministry of Education. We're giving the grand prize for our students. The prize is awesome to choose your favorite university and get a 100% scholarship. It's a good one, okay? For a year. <laughs> Not for four years, that'll be very expensive. Okay, so right now it's time for round three, and the points we have for the three teams is 150 for school number 37 and 200 points for school number 86 who are leading the game, the Iberia team, okay. And the third team has 130 points and now they're about to start round three. Let's get on with the questions starting from school number 37, okay. Grab your mics. Okay, are you guys ready? Yes, ready. Yeah, good job. Okay, first question. In Astrid, Lindgren's Pippi Longstocking, whom does Pippi believe has become king of the cannibals? A, her father, B, Tommy, C, Dunder Carlson. The correct answer is B. I'm sorry, it was A, her father. Okay, Ooh. okay. Next question. The natural home of an animal is known by what seven letter noun? Is it A, habitat, B, breeder, C, mainland? It's correct answer is A. That is correct. Habitat, right? It's obvious. Next one. Find the probability on the flip of four coins that all will land heads up. Is it A, 132nd or B, 112th, C, 116th? The correct answer is C. That is correct, 116th, right? I was horrible at this probability thing when I was in high school, but you guys are doing a really good job. Thank you. Proud of you. <laughs> okay. Fourth question. What type of creatures do herpetologists study? Is it A, snakes and lizards? B, gall and birds? C, ants, insects, they are? The correct answer is B. <laughs> Snakes and lizards, right? Herpetologists. Okay. All right, on with the next question. Who was known as the George Washington of South America? Is it A. William Alexander, B. Simon Bolivar, C. Benedict Arnold? The correct answer is A. B. Simon Bolivar, guys. Next question. This will be the last question. Between which two planets does the orbit of Ceres occur? Is it A. Pluto and Neptune? B. Venus and Mercury? C. Jupiter and Mars? The correct answer is C. Yes! Jupiter and Mars! That is good! You guys are doing a good job. 180 points for round three. Now it's time for the real taste of wild berries, school number 86, okay? Uh, you guys like clapping, I like clapping too. <laughs> clap your hands, clap your hands, we're almost finished. Okay, with the team cap. I can see that you guys are doing really good on the math quizzes. Okay, Thank you. let's see if you can handle the third round, okay? Ready? Here we go. Give the female form of the noun, aviator. Is it A, aviatrix, B, aeronaut, or C, astrogator? A. That is correct. Okay, next one. Identify the musical family that includes the xylophone. Is it A, catgut instruments, B, percussion instruments, or C, string instruments? C, string. Percussion it is. I'm sorry. Next question. 
The math question, the number of students in Mrs. White's third grade class is 28. If there are 12 boys, what is the ratio of girls to boys? Be sure to simplify your answer. Is it A, 5 to 3, B, 4 to 3, or C, 4 to 2? B. That is correct. You guys are good at math, man. You guys are awesome. Next question. Identify the voice in the sentence carrying through the boomerang perfectly. Is it A, active, B, none of them, C, passive? It's A. That is correct. It's very active, right? Very active. <laughs> Next question. In the sentence, Mary let out a loud scream as she dropped from the 13th floor in the Tower of Terror. What is the first object of the preposition encountered? Is it A, screen, B, floor, or C, tower? It's A. I'm sorry, it was B, floor. Okay. Okay, last question for school number 86. Identify the constitutional amendment that granted freedom to the slaves. Is it A, 15th, B, 13th, C, 14th? The correct answer is B. That is correct, guys, 13th. Good ending. Okay, that is it for the real taste of wild berries, iberry team from school number 86. Now it's time for school number 23 with the team captain, Namung. Okay, you got six questions. Ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. Which order of animals includes mammals that gnaw? A. Rodents or B. Reptile C. Vertebrata A. A. That is correct. Rodents, right? Okay. Next one. What type of drawing by an artist magnifies a person's facial characteristics to produce a comical sketch? A. Caricature or B. Graphic C. Abstract B. I'm sorry, it was A. Girls, next question. It's a math question. Solve the proportion. Okay, 5 divided by the as a fraction in simplest form, quantity x plus 2 equals 3 divided by the quantity 7x plus 1. Express your answer. Is it A, x equals 1 42nd, B, 2 32nd, or C, 1 32nd? B. That is incorrect. It was 1 32nd. Okay, next question. Name the creature said to inhabit the slopes of Mount Everest that is much like the legendary Bigfoot of the United States. Is it A, monster, B, ogre, or C, yeti? C. Yes, that is correct. It's not an ogre, it's not a monster, it's a yeti. Okay. Next question. Name the 16th century Spanish artist trained by Greek monks who created the view of Toledo landscape. Is it A. El Greco, B. Thomas Hudson, C. William Dobson? A. That is correct, El Greco. Last question for school number 23. Into which rock group are sandstone and shell classified? A. Sedimentary, B. Garnet, or C. Emerald? A. That is correct! Sedimentary rock, right? Okay, now it's time for round of spotlight from the third team, school number 23. I will pick the person, the person will answer my question. Clear, right? Okay, round of spotlights. And the person will be Hosung. Okay, grab your mic, turn it on. Here he goes the question. It's a math question. Find the number of seconds in one hour and 15 minutes. A, 4,800, B, 4,500, or C, 4,700. It's B. That is correct. Good job, Watson. Okay, that is the end of round three, guys. And the teams we have is 180 for school number 23 and 240 for school number 86 and 180 for school number 37. Now it's the last round, which is the 60 seconds question time. 
Students gonna hit their lights and ask my question, okay? We're back with the show, Master English TV Olympiad, and this is the final part of our show, which is the 60 seconds question time. The Iberry team did a really good job in the first 60 second period, and they have a point of 240, and now let's see how they can do it. Our show is sponsored by Ministry of Education and Iberry and Fanta. This is the last round. Let's start. Okay, so the 60 seconds qu question time will be about flags of countries. Here are the directions. Tell the country name of the shown flag. We're going to show a flag. You're going to tell the country's name. Easy, huh? Okay, ready, set, go. First one. Albania. That is correct. Next one. Next flag, please. Sweden. I'm sorry, it was Denmark. Next question. It's Iraq. That is correct. Next one. Kazakhstan. Oh man, awesome. Okay, next flag, please. Mexico. Oh, okay, next one. Let's go. You got 20 seconds. Peru. That is correct. Next flag, please. Morocco. That is correct. Eighth flag. Syria. Oh, okay. All right. Anyone? No? Venezuela. That is correct. Next one. Vietnam. That is correct. Oh, man, we're out of questions. Next flag, please. Okay, that is the end of the 60 seconds question time. Congratulations for school number 86. It was an awesome job today. <laughs> I'm so proud of you guys. Okay, so our show's winner for today was school number 86 with the team captain, Batoktok. And the other teams are school number 37 with 180 points and school number 23 with 170 points. Our show is sponsored by Ministry of Education who are given the grand prize and I Berry, the real taste of wild berries. My name is Timmy, I was your host. Thank you very much, see you next time.